Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I'd like to speak to you about another feature of the subconscious mind. Now, we spoke a little bit about this in the last video, but today I want to get into it a little bit more because the more you understand this, the more you understand that basically it's a key to change to eliminating stress and to immediate healing. Aha, uh -huh, immediate healing. And what is the topic? The topic is in the subconscious mind, there is only now. So we spoke a little bit about that before. So let's talk more about it now. The conscious mind has the future and the past. In the subconscious, there is only now. I spoke a little bit about why that was. So let's uh, talk about what that means to you. So let's talk about healing. A lot of people are wondering how they can heal, how they can uh, change things. Do you realize that healing only can happen now? Think of that. If you heal, if the subconscious is what heals you because you heal yourself. I've said many times, I cannot heal you, only you can heal you. And by you healing you, meaning your mind heals you, your subconscious says, okay, it's time to heal and you heal. Well, if there's no past and there's no future in the subconscious and there's only now, then the only time you can heal is now. Think of that. So when you have a cold and you say, oh, it takes about 10 days to get rid of a cold, the subconscious mind, which follows or attracts what you focus on says, he says it's going to be 10 days, so make it so. We'll wait 10 days, and in 10 days, we'll come back to it and we'll heal you because you're thinking it's, time, it's, not, it's now the time. Think of it. Whenever you're sick and all of a sudden you're healthy, when does that change happen? It happens in a moment. You're not healthy, then sick, and healthy, then sick. You go from sick to healthy. That's the moment. That's the now moment. So if you know that you can be healthy now, why would you want to wait a week to 10 days for that to happen? You can say it's now. You have pain. Oh, this is going to hurt for so long. Or you can say, I feel great now. It's gone now. Now, do you think you can't do that? If you're a business person, you've done it many times. Okay, this is <laughs> here's an example that always blows my mind. Okay. I'll smack my finger on the table or I hit myself with a hammer or, or something like that. And I'll be like, ow, 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 it's hurting so much. And the phone rings and I pick up the phone. American School of Hypnosis and I'm all set. You see that now moment? I just changed it and I stopped. And while I'm on the phone, a lot of times I forget the pain. Kind of like a child running across the parking lot, you know, or the schoolyard. And he slips and falls and skims his knee and... Before he cries, he looks around to see if anyone's around. If not, he'll run all the way home or run to the teacher. And as soon as he sees them, scream bloody murder like they're dying. But without an audience, there's no screaming. Kind of reminds me of that little uh, saying, you know, if there's uh, if a tree falls out in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, does it make noise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a child, it's like that. If no one's there to hear them, and even an adult, there's been times I hurt myself in the workshop and... I just kept on working because there was nobody there to hear me. <laughs> All right. So the power of now, everything happens in a now. So your healing moment is now. Keep that in mind when you say things like, you know, in anything you say, when you say, I want to be healthy, what does the subconscious say? Well, I'll wait. When you say, I want to be wealthy, you're not saying I am wealthy. You're saying, I want to be wealthy. So the subconscious mind says, I'll wait until he or she is ready. When you say, I want a good relationship or a great relationship, when do you want it? This is why I tell people, in order to be successful in anything, you have to speak as if you speak a different language. Instead of saying, I want wealth, you got to say, I am wealthy. Instead of saying, I want health, you have to say, I am healthy. Even though you're not, how are you going to become healthy? When's that moment of change going to happen if you don't make it happen? Okay, is it going to happen in the middle of the night when you're not thinking about it and you finally say, okay, I'll stop being a victim, let it happen now. Because, oh, being a victim sometimes keeps you away from things. Because 
if you're being a victim, in other words, you get sick and you go tell everyone, I'm sick, I'm sick because of the sympathy and the pity you're going to get. Your subconscious mind knows what you're doing. By you telling everyone about it, you're getting your reward, which is attention, which is, oh, poor is you. Oh, whoa, you. Oh, I'm so sorry. And all the oohs and the ahs. Why would the subconscious mind want to heal you and want to take that pleasure away from you? or that reward away from you. It's your subconscious mind. So that's why a victim cannot be successful. Because if you spend all your time saying, oh, I'm poor, oh, I'm broke, and all this, the subconscious mind says, make it so. You're getting your reward from all the people that are feeling bad for you or sorry for you. So poverty and wealth cannot abide in the same vessel. You're one or the other. Health and sickness can't abide in the same vehicle. You're one or the other. Which are you? So if you're saying, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy. Oh, woe is me, is something wrong. Uh, you know, I don't have the money. I can't do this. I went bankrupt. You know, you're not going to get the wealth. Even if you were bankrupt, I'm wealthy. I'm wealthy because there's a lot of ways of being wealthy. You could be wealthy in health. You could be wealthy with your family. You've got a place to live. You've got food. You've got, you got breathing. You woke up above the earth this morning, okay, <laughs> above the ground. Uh, those are good things. So you have a lot of wealth, a lot of health, even though one thing might be wrong. So I am this. Everything is in the now. When are you going to do something? You're going to do it now. So keep that in mind. Throughout the day, here's a little exercise for you. I want you to only hear yourself saying, I am, rather than I want to. Or, uh, you know, think of it. Anytime you do that, matter of fact, anytime you say, I want to, or I'm going to, catch yourself. You might even want to take a piece of paper with you if you, if you want to go that far and write down, make a little hash marks, how many times, shoot, you know, you did it. But correct it with, I am, I am. And see how many times you do that in the course of a day. Matter of fact, for the rest of the day until you go to bed tonight, count how many times you've, you've done it and write it down in the comments below so others can see. And me too, I won't tell no one. So how many times you did that and live, make your decisions in the now so you can do everything that you want to do, such as heal and get wealthy and have great relationships and success. I wish you the very best of success, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.